Global Content Podcast, your go-to source for content creation, strategy, and business inspiration. I'm your host, Mel Daniels, content strategist, coach, and speaker, empowering women across the globe to grow their business with powerful content that connects, nurtures, and converts. So if you're ready to create standout content that gets you noticed and remembered or build an aligned audience who love you and are ready to buy from you, you're in the right place. I believe that content has the power to connect us all. It's up to you how you use it. Listen in for genuine and insightful chats with guests, as well as practical tools and strategies from me. It's so lovely to have you here. Let's dive into the show. Hello, hello, beautiful people, and welcome to episode 84 of the Powerful Content Podcast. Did you hear? Did you hear the news? We're live. The Kickstarter campaign for my book, The Power of Content, is up and running, and I wanted to give a shout out to everyone who's backed my book so far. I am truly, truly grateful for every single one of you. Depending on when you're listening to this episode, you still might have a chance to grab yourself a bargain early bird package Head on over to kickstarter.com and search for Mel Daniels and you'll find everything that's on offer. Now, this book has been a labor of love. And do you know what? I hate it when people use that term, (laughs) but that's what it has honestly felt like. I've started, I've stopped, I've been inspired, unmotivated, wondered what the heck I'm doing. And of course, of course, suffered some serious bouts of imposter syndrome. But sometimes we just need to take a deep breath and do the thing, right? Especially the thing that you're constantly telling others to do (laughs) to put yourself out there. So I wrote this book for you, my beautiful listener, my beautiful ideal client, the impact driven entrepreneur who really feels lost and confused as everything that you're taught goes against every single grain of your belief and how life should be lived. The woman who's ready to embrace her intuition, her strength, and her love of serving others to create content that really serves your beautiful ideal client as well as feels good for you. I can't wait, I really can't wait to bring a physical copy of this book to the world with the power of community. So thank you so much for your support. And if you haven't checked it out, make sure you head on over to kickstarter.com. The link is in the show notes. And even if you don't back the project, if you could just share it with one other person, I would be truly grateful. Now, today's episode is all about finding the purpose in your content journey, because we're all on a journey to become powerful content creators, even me. It's all about awareness, embracing the ups and downs, and challenging ourselves at every step of the way. I don't think that you really ever reach your destination. Purpose is really about being open to new opportunities and new perspectives and new beliefs. And I think that once we acknowledge and accept this, then the way that we approach content can change. So instead of being hard and heavy and uninspiring, we become more in tune with the strategy and the reason we're creating content. And when we can do this, then our ideal client understands us better, sees a clear path ahead with you and wants to work with you. And yet, despite all of these obvious benefits of creating powerful content, so many of us still continue to just throw content out there (laughs) willy-nilly. I understand that you're busy. We're all busy. But when we stop to think about the purpose of each piece of content we create, is it to connect with someone? Is it to get them to subscribe to your email list? Is it to nurture them to a point where they're ready to convert? And then how does this fit into my entire content ecosystem? Once you understand those things, then not only does it become easier for you, it's easier for your ideal client to see the light and want to work with you. Now, I'm a firm believer in content marketing from a relationship building perspective. And this message is interwoven constantly throughout my book. I know that you can't have one-on-one relationships with every single person. I understand that, but I can be a sounding board. I can be a teacher and I can be a solution finder for those that need it. I know that I was built to serve and I know that you were too. So I know that you know what I'm talking about here. 
So I guess this is a really long way of saying that powerful content should be the cornerstone of your business. And it's really how you become known and take your ideal client on a journey with you. So finding purpose in this content journey is really going to help you create content that resonates with your ideal client and feels good for you. So I guess the next question is, how do we actually do this? How do we find purpose in our content and find purpose in our content journey? I hate to say this, but it's really a lifetime of learning, of testing, of playing, of refining. But I've got three tips for you that will help you begin to uncover the purpose of your content journey and start to create content that really is purposeful and powerful. Now, the first tip is defining your content's why. We all know that we need to understand what our why is, but what is our content's why? It bothers me so much that whenever someone starts talking about marketing or content marketing, the first thing that they start with or the thing that they try to hammer home is that you need to understand the who you're speaking to, your ideal client. And yes, 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 this is important. Heck, if you weren't in my life, there wouldn't be a podcast. There wouldn't be blogs or a free Facebook group or free trainings. There wouldn't be a membership. And I wouldn't get to help solve your problems one-on-one. Basically, there'd be no business, which would be absolutely devastating. But at the same time, I'm important too. Probably even slightly more important in the content creation process than my ideal client. And as soon as you recognize this, then you will be one step closer to your content's purpose. When you find time to understand your drivers, that's your values and your beliefs, and then translate this into a message that matters, that's the reason you have a business. And that's what you need to be talking about more in your content. If your ideal client doesn't know why you do what you do, they're never going to buy into doing it with you. They'll find someone else that can solve the problem for them and someone that they can resonate with and get to know a little bit better. On a more micro level, every piece of content that you create should have a why or a purpose. Before you create anything, and I mean anything, whether it's a blog, a podcast, a video, an email, a social media post, before you create anything, you need to think about what you want it to do. Because if there's no purpose behind it, there's no point you wasting your time creating it for someone who's not going to care about it. So ask yourself these two questions. Is this piece of content going to help me achieve my current goals or objectives? Is this piece of content going to move my ideal client along the journey with me? If the answer is yes, then great. Go ahead, create it. If it's a, "Hmm, I'm not sure then I'd encourage you to put it aside and come back to it later. The second way that you can find purpose in your content journey is through using your genuine stories. Now, when I talk about powerful content, I talk about the three questions that you need to ask yourself when you're creating it. You need to think about whether you're using it for good or for evil. (laughs) So that's whether you're using it to portray a true reflection of the world or whether it's one that creates a false perception. The second is, are you using it for purpose or noise? So is there a reason, a meaning behind what you are creating? Or are you just adding to the digital clutter out there because you're told that's what you need to do? And the third one, is it for impact or is it ego led? Are you really serving your beautiful ideal client and helping them see the possibilities of working with you, what they can be, do and have, or is this all about you and getting the likes on your posts? To have content that you're using for good, for purpose and impact, as opposed to the evil, the noise and the ego led, there really needs to be meaning behind what you're creating. And this meaning can be conveyed most effectively through using stories. Now, I don't mean your big why story or how you started your business story, Although these do have a place in your content, it's more about the little things, the things that you see or hear and how you can relate them to what you do, what your ideal client is thinking or feeling, or how you can help them overcome a problem. Now in my book, I talk about the story of when my daughter left home without her phone one morning. And to cut a long story short, I was running down the road, chasing a bus in bare feet. 
Now you're probably thinking, how on earth does this relate to business or content? But there's a meaning in there, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. You'll just have to go and back the book if you want to find out what it is. But I guess what I'm really trying to say here is that there is a story in every part of your life and every story should have a meaning. And stories are the way that our ideal client can relate to us and understand what we're about. Just don't overthink it. Now, my third and last tip to help you find purpose in your content journey is encouraging you to embrace the flow and embrace the creativity. Wanting to honor creative flow is one of the biggest desires of my community. And as a planner archetype myself, even I want to do this. I do need to take a deep breath as you could hear, but I do need to do this myself. To know that when I'm in flow, I can create content that's not only deeper in meaning and connection, but honors my personal boundaries and my desires. But here is a piece of tough love for you today. You will never, never, ever find purpose through embracing flow and creativity if you don't plan for it. If you are constantly waiting for that divine inspiration, then guess what? It's unlikely to hit as often as you would like or as often as it needs to, to be consistent and connect with your beautiful ideal client, or it hits you at the wrong time when you don't have the time and space to create it. My beautiful free spirits are great at embracing the flow and creativity, but not so great with the consistency. So just imagine if you can combine the two and it's totally possible. You first need to find the things that help you create your flow and then secondly have a plan in place so that you can use that flow with purpose as soon as it hits. Bring awareness to the moments of inspiration. What is it that fuels you? Some things that members of the content effect have identified that inspire them include having client calls, connecting with others, making space to enjoy something outside of your business, dancing, or in my case, it's usually baking or a cup of coffee. (laughs) And then if you have a high level plan in place on what you're hoping to achieve with your content this quarter, this month, this week, it becomes super easy to channel this flow into something that has purpose. So where is all of this leading us? I see the future of successful content marketing as being driven by people like you and like me. People who value people, who want to lift others up, inspire them to be the best they can be in their area of specialty, who want a business that supports them, but not at the cost of the environment, other humans, or their own well-being. And in the era of AI-driven content, Understanding humans is more important than ever. I can get ChatGPT to spit out a kick-ass weekly email with a call to action to buy my thing, but what about my stories? Where are my stories and the purpose and meaning behind those? What about my values and beliefs? What about the me in my content that connects with the yous of the world? I encourage you to continue exploring purpose in your content journey. I want you to think deeply about the purpose behind your content and how it can elevate your brand, elevate your authority and improve your relationships. Content goes way beyond marketing. It can be a powerful tool for making a meaningful impact. If you want to explore your content journey further, then don't forget to head on over to Kickstarter and purchase a copy of my book, The Power of Content or grab one of the value-packed packages on offer so we can take your content to new heights together. Talk soon. Thanks so much for listening. That's it for another week. To get more powerful content in your life, make sure you're following along on socials. My handle is at Meld Business. And just in case you're wondering, the groovy music for this podcast was created by Just Here on SoundCloud. I'd also be super grateful if you took a moment to rate and review this podcast so more amazing women like you can experience the power of content. And if you're like, hell Mel, stop talking. I'm ready to work with you now. Here's how we can work some powerful content magic together. 
Firstly, come and join the Content Effect, my membership inspiring women with service-based businesses to ditch the content chaos and start creating standout content that gets you noticed and makes sales. You can join us by using the link in the show notes or just Google the Content Effect. The second way we can work together is via my one-on-one packages. We can create a sustainable content strategy or start to build out your client journey. It's up to you. Pop on over to meldbusinessservices.com.au forward slash services to find out more. Until next time, have a beautiful week and embrace the power of your content.